Hey, it's great to be with you here today um, to help celebrate and honor World Hemophilia Day this week. Uh, we want to share some information about uh, my graphic novel, uh, The Blood of the Paladin, that uh, I wrote in hopes of capturing some of the history and strength of the bleeding disorders community and to raise some awareness about the challenges that people with a bleeding disorder face on a daily basis, despite many uh, advances in med modern medical treatment and uh, technologies. Val, would you mind explaining to people what uh, a bleeding disorder or hemophilia is? Sure. Um, <clears throat> for the record, Val Bias. Um, hemophilia is a genetic disorder passed from mothers to son, um, mostly. Girls can get it as well uh, through mutations. And there is a uh, disease called von Willebrand's disease that primarily affects women, but not always. Um, bleeding disorders are rare. Um, about 20,000 individuals with classic hemophilia, about 30,000 individuals with um, uh, bleeding disorders total in the United States, about 400,000 individuals with uh, bleeding disorders around the world. Um, uh, bleeding disorders occur uh, in your uh, joints, uh, bruising, heavy menstrual cycles for women. Um, they can be difficult to treat. They can cause a lot of pain um, and uh, a bleed can feel like a broken bone, a severe one can. Um, bruising, uh, permanent joint damage. Um, so there are many side effects to having a bleeding disorder, as well as uh, co comorbidities for people. Mine and um, Jonathan's age, we were affected by HIV as well as hepatitis C over the years. Yeah, and uh, Val, uh, maybe uh, we could talk a little bit about how you and I met. You know, we've, we've been friends a long time. Yeah, I met Jonathan at camp, at uh, a Bleeding Disorders Hemophilia Camp. And um, I was a counselor uh, slash director there for many, many years. And Jonathan was one of uh, the young people that I met. Uh, hemophilia Camp's a very special environment where uh, people get together uh, with other people with bleeding disorders. Uh, kids uh, grow up there. Uh, come back, become counselors there uh, to teach other children about their bleeding disorder. It's a place where you can learn to self-infuse your treatment product. Uh, and that's a passport to freedom. That means you can leave home, go to any college you want, go around the world, uh, still be able to, to handle your bleeding disorder. Um, it's a very special place within the bleeding disorders community. And uh, Jonathan and I, as well as many others, have stayed in touch our whole life after uh, meeting at camp. Yeah, camp was a very important experience for me, um, as Val was talking about, to, to have that sense of community. Um, another thing that I learned along the way was how important it was to develop um, strategies or tools to cope uh, with uh, my serious chronic condition. Um, you know, with all the pain and suffering, isolation and loneliness, it was really important to have tools or strategies for helping to manage that. And one of the ones that was very important to me was uh, my use of my imagination. Uh, I discovered that uh, through creativity and imagination, I could help to escape or drown out some of the pain or uh, suffering I was experiencing and kind of go to a different place. Uh, and for me, that was through a game called Dungeons and Dragons, which was uh, a role-playing game that I played with my very close friends, uh, where we'd create magical worlds together, filled with dwarves and elves, dragons and treasure. And we'd make characters, knights, wizards, archers, that would go and battle these, uh, these formidable forces and uh, seek glory in a world filled with, with no limitations and no disabilities. It was very powerful for me uh, and a very useful tool. Other people use different forms of imagination, whether it's cooking or reading or music or art, things that can just help you to, to, to rise above, to drown out those, 
those uh, painful experiences. On top of that, uh, developing a support network, a team uh, around myself of friends and family members, and even doctors and nurses that could help uh, me cope with some of the things I was facing. People that I could be really honest with and open about those experiences and could help me advocate when I couldn't. And then to become my own medical advocate. That was a lesson that has taken me my whole life to really learn. To take responsibility, to educate myself completely on my condition and know what the treatment options were and discuss that with the doctors and then ultimately, as a team, make a decision on the best course of action of treatment. Because ultimately, I'm the one that has to live with that decision, as we all are. And then finally, I guess the last piece of advice I'd have is what my dad used to always say, which is, John, you got to keep placing one foot in front of the other if you want to reach the, the summit. Um, you need to keep moving. You need to keep going. Uh, chronic condition is all about challenges, many known, some unknown, and you have to be uh, willing to get back up again, uh, to brush yourselves off, to get back in that batter's box and face it again to continue to live your life to the fullest. Uh, you can get more information about hemophilia at the World Federation of Hemophilia wfh.org. You can also look at Save One Life that provides individual support uh, to people with bleeding disorders around the world. Nationally, you can go to the National Hemophilia Foundation, nhf.org, uh, the Hemophilia Federation of America, as well as the Coalition for Hemophilia B that focuses on a particular type of bleeding disorder. There are also 52 chapters around the country that you can reach out to and get more information. And for information on uh, my graphic novel, Blood of the Paladin, you can go to our website at www.bloodofthepaladin.com and learn more about uh, the, the project, those involved. There's a podcast series that you can listen to to hear more about uh, the story behind the story. And you can uh, sign up to, uh, to request your own uh, free copy of the graphic novel, Blood of the Paladin, at no cost to you. Uh, thanks in part to our supporters, Lead Limited and BioMarin for helping to bring all the necessary pieces together and make the graphic novel available.